Welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, I'm going to um, attach the front of the dress to the sleeves and then the sleeves to the back of the dress, but I've got the back pieces sitting over um, off to the side. So let me put one sleeve out of the way for just a minute and I'm going to work with one sleeve. I'm going to line up the top at the neck hole opening with the entredeau. And I'm going to begin to pin this into place. Come down the straight part of the raglan sleeve first, and then when I get to the curve, I'll ease it in to the bottom of the armhole. Let me go ahead and line up the bottom with the bottom. And don't be afraid to use a lot of pins as you're easing this in. Okay, so now I've got that pinned into place. So I've got my machine, let me set it for a straight stitch. And I've got my ecru thread in. And I'm gonna sew right to the right of the entredo ladder. And I'll take my pins out as I come to them. Get a little closer to the entrepreneur. There we go. Okay, now I need to go to the ironing board and I need to press this seam toward the sleeve. But before I do that, um, everywhere that the entredeau is notched down here at the curve of the armhole opening, um, I'm going to trim the sleeve also so that the fabric will flare out when I turn it. Okay, 
All right, so now let me go to the ironing board and I will press that seam toward the sleeve so that I can come back and zigzag next to the entredette. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that seam pressed toward the sleeve. So let me set my machine to a zigzag. The appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredo. And then I'm gonna zigzag immediately to the left of the entredo ladder. And this stabilizes that seam. Okay, this is going to take me a minute to get all the way to the top of this seam, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that seam zigzag. Now I'm going to use my specialty scissors with the curved handle. And like I did on the other side of the seam, oh, I've got one that flipped the wrong direction, so let me trim that off. Okay, I'm going to go through and I'm going to very carefully trim a little bit of this excess entredo seam out of the way, just without cutting the zigzag. It's a little bit thick right here at the beginning because I'm cutting through a little bit of lace also. Kind of makes a mess right here where I had all the notches, but that's okay, it cleans up. Just cut the notches off one at a time. And then when you get to the straight seam, you can just kind of Clip it a little bit, a little bit faster, make some longer cuts. But just clip a little bit of that excess entredo seam out of the way. There. I'll clean up my mess. Okay, now that makes a lovely little entredo seam right there at that raglan sleeve. Now I need to repeat this process three more times. I need to repeat it on the other side for the other sleeve. And then I'll repeat this as I sew the backs onto the dress too. So, but I'll do all of that off camera since it's just a repeat of what I just did. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all four of the seams with entredo sewn, stitched, and trimmed. Okay, this is kind of starting to look like a little dress, but I won't hold it up. Okay, now in the next video, we're going to work on the neck hole opening, and we'll have an entredo and gathered lace edge that goes around the top. But in this video, we were sewing the four entredo seams for the shoulders and arms. Thank you.